All right, team, so we are installing the digital monitors tonight, so we're putting three up. I've already got the Radiant system on one. We're gonna walk you through kind of the process. The mounting the TV is pretty simple, and luckily in this store we have power, but we can add power by teeing off a junction box, uh, adding a junction box, adding outlets behind if you need to, but uh, you don't, these don't require much power, so pretty cool. So now we're gonna walk you through setting up the Radiant system. So we use the Vizio V-Series uh, monitor. Uh, the V-Series is great. Uh, we got these for, I think, $399 or $449 at Sam's Club. I have a second screen here. I can't, I think it's on the other side. Yeah, one of the things I like about the Vizio is that the HDMI receiver will plug into the side just like that. So this, I think this one's, yeah, this one, it'll plug in just like that. So there is the receiver. The neat thing about this is some of the TVs have the HDMI plugs in the back, which when you plug it in, it sticks out, um, which you basically have to use an adapter. This one, it just plugs in and the antenna is really adjustable, pretty cool. All right, so taking off the box, consists of the Radiant HDMI receiver, and we have our power cord, which I've already put together. It's pretty simple. Okay, so we're gonna plug in the adapter here, and we're gonna plug it into the side of the screen. Yeah. All right, you can see here, I got the receiver plugged in. I use the HDMI 2, just so you, if you need a USB backup, it's accessible. Then I'm gonna run this guy to an extension cord right here. So we have basically two outlets, two uh, uh, plugs for one circuit. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. All right, just like that right there. And I'm just gonna wrap this up here and run the cable down. Okay, so now after about 20 minutes of setup, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch to the input of the HDMI port for the Radiant system. So in this case, we set it up to HDMI 2. So I'm gonna hit input, uh, input, and I'm gonna go HDMI 2. No, I just skipped it here. There's two, and that should Pop up, there it is. And so now I'll go zoom in here. You can see that the Radiant system is in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my smartphone, we're gonna connect directly to the Radiant device and program our access point. So we'll show you that, how to connect it to Wi-Fi. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna connect to the Radiant um, network here. So I gotta find it. So give it a second. Seconds to refresh here. There it is, boom. So Radiant, whoops. Was there, there it is. So now we're gonna connect to that. And we're gonna set this up to our Wi-Fi network. And this simply is programming our Radiant computer to our Wi-Fi network. And boom, there we go. All right, so now it wants us to connect, access the code. Uh, so enter the two digit code on the Radiant dashboard. So we're gonna do that now. So once the screen is activated, you can see menu three is activated. And now it says it's activated. So that's cool, it's ready to go. What we wanna do is we wanna enter in the two digit code that was displayed on the screen and that will activate this screen to our dashboard. In this case, 
Uh, I'm gonna call this menu three because uh, that's the name of the menu and I'm gonna activate the screen. And I can actually record this here for you. So once the screen is activated, you can see menu three is activated. And now it says it's activated. So that's close, cool. ready to go. So the last step here is to is really simple is to assign a playlist. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a playlist here. Uh, we will go ahead and add a new one and we'll call this Northwest Reno Main 3 because it's the third menu. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add three yep yeah. so now we need to add some content so we're gonna go to our library and we're gonna create actually we don't want to create we want to upload back to library we want to uh, upload a new screen and I forget how to do that uh, upload video that's cool upload images right here boom and in this case, I want to use the UNR menu three, which is our acai menu. That's it right there. Now upload that. And the neat thing here is we can do different playlists and things like that that we can add. Boom, and so we've got our, uh, now we've got our menu. And now we want to go to our playlist. Well, we'll go back to our screens here. There's our playlist. So we're gonna go here and, oh, here we go, add. We should be able to add our menu. So give that a second to refresh. And then once we do that, we publish it. And there it is. And then once we do that, we publish it. And there it is. Second one is up.